Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rhino Slider Pro. It's a 48 inch stainless steel slider uh, that I picked up uh, through Kickstarter, decided to fund a campaign, and it just looks like a really uh, cool slider considering it's made in America, it's from a small company, and I like that kind of thing. So we're gonna dive in and show you what's in the box. This is the first time unboxing it. Um, I did go ahead and buy the additional bag to carry everything in, and then also the pulley system too, so I have some options too on, uh, on how we use the slider. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what this thing looks like. Of course you got Rhino Slider camera gear made in the USA. Um, first thing on the inside, Rhino Armor. A uh, little uh, plug for, I think they're protective cases. So I went ahead and in this Kickstarter campaign, I went ahead and bought additionally on top of the Rhino Slider Pro, the uh, Rhino camera gear case. Um, go ahead and jump in here and let's take a look at this guy. I think online, if I'm correct on this, uh, they're using some ripstop nylon. Really nice, heavy duty, well made. Um, I'm gonna take a look, you know, by just taking a look at this, I can tell that it's already well made. Nice stitching, and uh, it's gonna be durable. Let's see what she looks like on the inside. It's got a shoulder sling. And as we get inside, you'll see it's got some compartments, of course, to be able to strap down the legs. We'll take a look at that install. And then on the other side, as far as the rails and stuff for protection, so stuff's not banging up against each other. Very nicely uh, put together, well made. And what I also like is, if you're in a run and gun situation, uh, you have everything installed, kind of ready to go. You can leave it unfolded, grab the inside carrying case, and hit the next spot that you're ready to shoot. All right, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna take a look at the slider pulley. Okay, nice little bag. Contain everything. Of course, the pulley mount that we will attach in just a little bit. And then we've got our cabling, which will get threaded on to the slider. And then you can use this as a counterweight as well. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, Rhino Slider Pro comes with 48 inch stainless steel rails. Very nicely packaged for protection. If you've ever dealt with stainless steel before, it's not locked. So these are not like carbon rails, but these guys are definitely not gonna bend on you. It's got a center mount plate. Everything's bolted into place. And so this is gonna allow for center mounting on your tripod. Uh, of course, we're missing our end pieces to mount everything, and that's in the next box we're gonna look at. All right, so this is gonna have all our extra goodies, the feet and the hardware to attach everything else that goes on our slider. Very nicely packaged again. Everything cut out to fit for the feet and then the actual slider itself. Let's see what's in this section here. We have the slider. Pretty impressed with overall construction. Very nice, nicely made, well put together. I use some nice materials. Little bag of hardware. Uh, the rubber grommets. Two that will go one on each end, and that will keep the slider from uh, banging into uh, banging into the ends when you're when you're of course using it. We've got our feet, four of them. These are the rubber end pieces that are adjustable. And then we've got the actual leg assembly end caps. And then our legs that the feet are gonna slide right into, thread in. Give me a few minutes, we're gonna put that together and start the installation process. Okay, so we've got our rubber foot attached to our CNC machined uh, leg piece. This is the end plate that mounts. So that literally just slides right over the end. We've got our nuts, I should say our collared pieces here, bolt to uh, run through. Um, these of course just sandwich, you're gonna wanna go in the proper direction here so that it ratchets when everything is installed correctly. And then you're just gonna run that in like so and one side is attached. So with the leg set up like this, what's nice is it's one, it's quick and easy to take apart install. Um, it allows for full adjustment 
of the leg assemblies so that you can just make everything really compact and ready to go again. All right, so we're ready to install our slider. Pretty straightforward, it just slides right on. All right, so once our end plate is mounted, feet are screwed in place, the slider is on. Um, of course, this is gonna be already mounted in place. So what we want to just make sure is that our bumper securely pushed toward the end. You only need one bumper per side, and it just keeps the slider from coming into contact with, uh, with the end plate. The slider does come with two uh, attachments options on here. Uh, without looking, I think this is a quarter 20. And, and on the end of the end plate, it does give you the option to just mount this here so it's there and ready to go if you need to switch it out, depending on what you're putting on here. I think the smaller ones, of course, for GoPros, these are for the bigger tripod or the uh, pivot head fluid mounts. Um, that are gonna mount on top. But just again, another kind of thought out uh, option on this slider. All right, so we've got our slider installed. Uh, before we go too much further, what you wanna do is just wipe the rails down, make sure everything is clean of any debris, any metal shavings. Um, we are dealing with metal on these, even if it was carbon fiber, I would do the same thing. Just make sure everything is wiped down and you don't have any debris um, that could possibly get hung up in the nylon sliders. And then it's probably a good idea to keep a little cleaning cloth that you can do this on set if it's dusty, uh, sandy, gritty, whatever, so that the slider moves as free as possible. Install the slider pulley system. It's the quarter 20 threading. I'm just gonna tighten that down. And this is the arm that's gonna allow us to run our wiring and then it's going to snap in here. So on the other end we have a quarter 20 that's going to mount into the actual slider itself. So all we've got to do, get that mounted securely, undo our wiring here, and then all we're going to do is we're going to come up and around the pulley and then we're going to pull our wire right up and through. So now it's gonna allow for being able to guide the pulley from whatever angle we need, whether it's a vertical or horizontal installation here. And if needed, you could use the bag to uh, throw some weights in. If you had a pretty big rig, you could weigh it down to make it even that much easier to move around and to, uh, and to use properly. So on the bottom of the slider, you got a 3 8 16th and then a quarter 20, but the 3 8 16th will mount to a standard tripod adapter for me for my photography gear. So I just tightened that down, mounted my 7D on top. We've got the slider pulley all attached and we're ready to shoot. Now that's going to be a quick and simple no panning, of course. Now, something else on the slider, two things. In order to set your friction, you've got two adjustment knobs, top and bottom. That's gonna, of course, loosen this pulley. And then we've got a separate bolt here that allows for basically forward and backwards movement of the slider um, to allow for pressure and how much pressure we're actually having on the uh, stainless steel rails. So basically you wanna set that just light amount of friction. I mean, everybody's gonna be a little bit different what they like. I want mine to be buttery smooth. So once we've got that set, we're good to go. Then the last thing is when you're not shooting, you want to be able to lock this thing down. So on either side, you've got these little locking sets that are going to clamp onto the stainless steel rail and keep it from sliding on you when you're not shooting. So we've got everything broken down. It's ready to go for install into the bag. You want to lock the slider down because you don't want it moving when it's in the case. And what you're going to do is lift up these ends and slide them in. And then as you see in here, it's got small Velcro straps, which you can attach everything nice and secure so stuff's not moving around on you. And after that, I don't have any additional rails going in, so this would be the spot to mount your additional rails. Uh, I may have some at another point. But for right now, I think I'm just gonna put my pulley in, close the bag up. So that is 
ready to be carried all your gear. Nice bag, really like this. All right, so I've got my slider all packed up, ready to go. That's a simple, quick way to get everything set. So we're gonna hit the road and shoot some footage. We've shown you the unboxing. We've showed you how to set up the Rhino Slider Pro. We've showed you the pulley system. We've showed you all the different functionality that you get with this. Just a great system. Um, what I like about it not only was uh, it manufactured well, it looks great. And I'm really impressed, especially when you're dealing with a Kickstarter campaign. Sometimes you're just not sure. And um, getting behind a product like this, this is exactly what you want to see come as a finished product. So a lot of neat stuff and excited because the guys are always developing something. So um, Rhino Gear, excellent job on this. And uh, I'm excited to put this to good use this year in our production company.